Hello beautiful beings of light. Um, this is the second part of um, our Tantra chats, our Tantra sessions. And um, yeah, we've been talking about love and fear and how to um, deal with all of this right now in the world we are living in. It's very relevant to what is happening in our exterior because we perceive um, with how much, with whatever love we have within, okay? So um, I wanna talk about the mind and how sometimes we're trapped in this prison. Uh, we are so um, scared of being abused and scared of getting hurt because we've been hurt before in our past, because we've been, um, you know, in a relationship that hasn't worked for us. We feel really um, vulnerable and, um, not sure that we want to actually give completely to our new loved one or to that person that may be out there for us, you know. Um, I think the um, what happens is that when we're in relationships, we tend to have uh, many expectations and we tend to have a lot of deceptions because we we're expecting all these things from our relationships to happen and we have this thing in our head we put something in our mind and therefore um, you know when it doesn't happen we get really upset about it there's deception we get frustrated we get um, angry we have resentment and um, sometimes if we leave it for a long time it actually becomes disease it becomes a dis-ease dis within the body um, the the way the way that we that we can avoid this to happen is it's very simple what we need to be doing is realizing that um yeah when we are in that vulnerable place it's because we are needy we are needy and we are expecting and we are waiting for our partners to fulfill us we are waiting for the, our partners to to give us the things that that we need um, and therefore we do, we become very dependent, we become very vulnerable, um, we become very angry when we don't get what we want. And um, when we run from lack of love, um, we also just want to please everybody. We are always trying to please our partners and we are just saying yes and we think that that's a way of being generous and, and actually that's just um, really not helping us in any way. Um, when you do um, enter a relationship or you are in your power um, it is so fulfilling it feels so um, you really start feeling how divine you are as a person as a human being which we are you know we're multi-dimensional beings and um, it really gives you a, a booster it gives you an energy booster but it doesn't it shouldn't be that feeling of being dependent. It shouldn't be that feeling of, um, you know, when's he gonna do that? Or, you know, expecting something from somebody. It should be a feeling of uh, total, um, uh, feeling complete, you know, feeling um, love in every way with or without that person. That is when you're totally aligned and you're full of love and your cup is full to give to another person and you're ready to be in a relationship. You know, far too many times I, in my life, I did that. You know, I was needy. I, I, I was running from very low vibrational um, uh, frequencies, and um, and it's kind of what got what came back to me. You know, I, um, I, I, I was running from lack, and I got somebody who was also running from lack and was also searching for me to fulfill them, and therefore, it was like a, um, um. It was it, it was a come and go. It was just it was, it was you know when two people are in this way, you're always searching for the other person to feel to make you feel good, and that other person is doing the same, and then you just get angry with each other, and you don't understand why. But actually, what we need to be doing is actually nurturing ourselves, and um, really um, focusing on ourselves, because the tantra path is all about um, love of the heart, first of all. Yeah, learning how to love yourself and nurture yourself and connect with the things that you love and do the things that you love. And then also another very important side of it is personal power. So working on your personal power because if you are open hearted and um, you know, you're just giving your love to everybody, that also is not great for you because you, you're 
you're not with your strength, you know, and it's, it's, it's knowing who you are, it's knowing what you need, it's knowing how you can nurture yourself, um, it's knowing what skills you have, what are the things that you love, and actually putting them into action, and that's working on your personal power. Working on your personal power is, you know, working on your strength, is you know knowing who you are you know just taking the time to know who you are and that takes a long time and then sometimes some of us go from one relationship to another relationship and we don't actually give ourselves a chance to sit back and think okay what are the things that I like to do what are the things that um, I haven't done because I never have time because I'm always too busy in a relationship and then it ends up you know I'm just giving all my life to my relationship and then bye bye relationship and then I, I feel I feel dead inside I feel done I feel over you know I feel I feel I feel empty I just feel um, drained you know and the problem is is that we it, it, you know Tantra is also it's 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 also uh, uh, it has to be harmonious it's connection between um, because we're made of energy it's all about giving and receiving so if you're giving and you're giving and you're giving to your relationship and um, you feel that that other person is just not giving you anything back, then it doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to be empty. There's never going to be enough energy within you, and you're never going to feel. You're never going to going to going to get anything back from him because he's or she is just taking from you. So it's all about filling up your own cup with the love and energy that you need just doing the things that you love when you're needy you don't find the pleasure in things because you're not with your power you're not with your body you're not with yourself you're not taking that time to be with yourself and therefore you don't even know how to give yourself your pleasures you don't know how to give yourself pleasure so how can we expect someone else to give us pleasure if we can't even give us pleasure why would we be so codependent on someone else when we are totally capable of giving us uh, those pleasures, it doesn't matter how that may be. It could be sexual, it could be just creatively, it could be just simply soothing and just being with your heart, you know, just, just doing the things that you love, you know. Uh, so once we are working on that, then we can have the most amazing, um, harmonious relationships um, and things start working better for us, you know. And it's about having that time to be on your own and having that time to think about uh, what you learnt in your last relationship, think about what it is you would do differently and, um, and just having the time with yourself, you know. Having the time with yourself. Stop searching for the other person to fulfil you right now. And this is a perfect time, you know. We're all at home we're not doing anything um, and understand that everything that happened to you in your life any abuse that happens in your life anything that's happened to you that was in some way for you negative um, everything is good nothing 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 in life is, is is you know every experience is good whether it be a negative experience or a positive experience it, it is always good because it always had it always has some sort of a lesson for you to learn when it starts becoming not so good is when you when you're not taking in the lesson and then basically what happens is it just happens to you again and again and again and again until you actually learn the lesson until you go oh okay <laughs> this is what I have to do right next time and oh okay this is what I have to do next time better you know and uh, realize that when you are in a relationship and you are being abused um, you know that's just life basically telling you like are you giving yourself what you deserve you know are you giving yourself the love that you deserve you know it's it's basically telling you to check yourself you know to check yourself and to say hey you know uh what can i do better you know what am i doing uh, what's am i am i putting down my boundaries am i am i am i am i respecting myself am i loving myself because if you're not loving yourself then you will allow these energies to enter in your life and you will allow these low frequency vibrations to be around you because you are in that state and therefore you need to raise your vibration so that you are no longer a frequency match to the person that you're with and therefore it will just won't feel right to be with that person anymore and if you are in a relationship that you're struggling right now with this whole, whole uh, lockdown and covid and whatever um, you know just find yourself a space even if it's in the bathroom or if it's in your bedroom just find yourself a moment just 
go in there and pretend that you're just reading a book or whatever and just um, find yourself that space and may do a meditation and just uh, uh, connect with your power, connect with, 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 you know, what's out there, you know, connect with the fifth dimension and, um, you know, imagine that you're in these beautiful places and that you're rising above and, and, that, and, and, and disconnect to your power and that will give you the strength that you need to pull out of that relationship. That will give you the strength that you need to connect with your throat chakra and to actually say to that person, I don't want to be with you anymore and what helped me is actually putting a date down so when you put a date down it's like oh my gosh you put the date down and 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 I was just like okay I have to do my suitcases I have to do this and how the hell am I going to run away from this dude and like whatever and and I was on the run and I had my child she was one and a half and but you know what? I did it. I did it, and uh, I don't regret it. And uh, and and now I'm a single woman, and um, I actually feel so happy. And I'm just with my creativity, and I feel so complete that I don't really, I don't, I don't find a need. I don't, I don't have a need to share my life with anybody right now. I love being on my own. I love. I love, I love it, I love it, and um, yeah, I'm ready, whenever something comes around, I'll be ready, and I'll like it, I hope, but uh, I know that a lot, I'm always, uh, at the moment, I'm with my power, and I feel strong, and I feel certain, and and um, you can only do that when you really give yourself the time, give yourself the time to heal, give yourself the time to heal, give yourself the time to change your perceptions, and to shift your core beliefs, because we haven't really been taught how to love, you know. Schools have never taught us that, you know. Uh, we have been taught from a very young age that we are not good enough, that we are not worthy, and therefore we run with those beliefs. So we need to heal that first to 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 bring about the right kind of energy that we um, that we need. But I mean, that said, as I say. Everything is an experience, as I said before. Everything is ex- is an experience, you know. So, <clears throat> if you're running from need and you're in a relationship, it's just a, a negative. Perhaps it's a negative experience, but it's you know it's still an experience. Uh, so, negative or positive, it doesn't really matter. Uh, everything has a learning. Everything has a teaching. So, um, you know, I just send you. I want to send you a lot of love. It doesn't matter who you are, where you are, what you're doing. But I know that there's a lot of people out there that are suffering from abusive relationships right now. And um, a lot of people that are on their own thinking that they'd be better off if they were with someone. But actually right now, everyone is very emotionally, bub- you know, everything's triggering. A lot of things are triggering within people. We're all blowing up. With, you know, people are getting very angry because there's so much trauma and so much stuff within our bodies that we have not yet released. And therefore, um, it's not a bad thing to be on your own right now. Those of you who are with somebody and that person is being abusive or you're being abusive to them, um, it's for you to just give yourself that love. You know, Don't expect that person to give it to you because perhaps that person doesn't have it for you. So lots of love. Bye.